Hey you guys, welcome to Joey, and today we're watching reacting to episode 4 of Game of Thrones Season 7. Uh, I know this episode actually leaked online, um, which is, it kind of reminded me, I think it was Season 5? I want to say, correct me if I'm wrong, but Season 5 where like episodes 1 to 4 actually leaked online. It was just a bit like, HBO, who are you hiring over there? <laughs> um, so I'm sure like plenty of people have seen this episode, or, uh, this episode already. But, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying the season so far, but I'm just kind of waiting for that. Like, because I know after, say, after this episode, we'll have five, six, seven, three episodes left of this season. I'm still waiting for, like, something... I don't say something big to happen, because big things have happened. Like, luckily to me and Jon Snow, we've had the uh, Euron kind of attacking Theon's, uh, or Yara's uh, fleet. So there have been, like, big moments that have happened, but I don't know, there's, like, what, what, you know what I mean? There just need, there needs to be, like, something that's something uh so i'm sure it'll come towards the later end of the season because they usually do anyway but just because i think it's just because there's seasons seven episodes and that's what i'm kind of like oh so surely like after this episode we're over halfway of the season already like that's a joke uh but yeah if you enjoyed this video please like if you want to remember to subscribe and let's do this when we win this war all the castles in the seven kingdoms will be yours to choose from with no one left to take them away from you Yes, I'm sure Queen Cersei's reign will be quiet and peaceable. Ah, oh, stranger things have happened. <laughs> like what? The granaries are being emptied and loaded into wagons, my lord. Rest assured, Your Grace, you can count on the Iron Bank's support. Uh, as soon as the gold arrives. Which may imply that the gold will this is for you. not arrive. Oh, cheers, yeah. <laughs> The last man who wielded it meant to cut your throat, but your mother fought him off. Oh. Hmm. I remember those days. The other dagger. The one that took her life. Anything I can do for you, Brandon. You would have seen Maybe everything thin little fingers done. Surely. Do you know who this belonged to? No. That very question was what started the War of the Five Kings. In a way, that dagger made you what you are today. Chaos in the world. I can only imagine. Chaos is a ladder. Uh, that was a speech from a very sad. When, um. I'm sorry to have just. Rose died. I'm not Lord Stark. I'd have to say as well, I love all the... I have to thank the internet for all the brand memes coming around recently. About her thin talent son that she looked beautiful on the night she got raped. It's a very good idea. You don't need me anymore. No, I don't. That's all you've got to say. Thank you. Brand's a dick! Thank you. For helping me. My brother died for you. Hodor and Summer died for you. I almost died for you. Brian. I'm not really to remember so much else now. <sighs> He's got to be the worst Stark. I'm sorry. It's just like you died in that cave. Yeah. Yes, come on. Go lighten the mood, please, Aria. Oh, she actually back already? Oh, my God. Hey, oh. Where are you going? In there. I live here. Fuck off. I'm Arya Stark. This is my home. <laughs> You're too stupid. Arya Stark's dead. Tell Sansa her sister's home. Lady Sansa is too busy to waste a breath on you, oh, you just like us. So for the last I'm time, mm. fuck off. Oh. I'm getting into this castle one way or another. If I'm not who I say I am, I won't last long. But if I am, and Sansa finds out you turn me away. Fuck. 
Fair enough. Right. Fucking idiots. Yeah, boy. I'm not, because if you don't, I'm going to hit you right in the fucking face as hard as I can. Huh. Idiots. Hold it away. Yes. Why can we have the music playing for these two? Why did she have it for Bram? However long my list got, he was always first. Your list? Of people I'm going to kill. <laughs> I need to hear that list again. <laughs> oh, little innocent Aria could never heard to fly, could she? Did you get back to Winterfell? It's a long story. Bran's home too. <sighs> Look inside, like, all he's it, just, just a freak now, just be prepared for that. You came home. I thought you might go to King's Landing. So did I. Why would you go back there? Cersei's on her list of names. <laughs> oh, it's kind of cool when he does that, but. Else is on your list. Catelyn Stark would be proud. You kept your vow. I did next to nothing. You're too hard on yourself, my lady. I'm not a. Thank you, Podrick. I'm Miss Brienne. She's already done much this season. Hey, here we go, Cooker. Many things. Your Grace. <laughs> A weird outset. Well, kind of. I wanted you to see it before we start hacking it to bits. This is it. All we'll ever need. Fair play. There is something else I want to show you, Your Grace. Hopefully, his dick, because, you know, babies. They're together. The children and the first men. Doing what? Fighting each other. Oh! First contact, I like it. They fought together against their common enemy. And you say you can't defeat them without my armies and my dragons? No, I don't think I can. Oh, this is so cute. I will fight for you. For you? I will fight for the North. When you bend the knee. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Won't accept a southern ruler. Not after everything they've She's shown. obsessed. I've been... Nothing against Khaleesi, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, not Khaleesi, Dan humans. Danny. They chose you to lead them. They chose you to protect them. Isn't their survival more important than your pride? Do you want to link arms or something? Put your arm around her, make sure she's protected. Not that she needs your protection, but... 
What is it? Commit to the blockade of King's Landing. We have a plan. It's still the right plan. The right plan. Your strategy has lost us Dawn, the Iron Islands, and the Reach. <laughs> if I have underestimated our enemies... Our enemies? Your family, you mean. Perhaps you don't want to hurt them after all. Oh, God. Yeah, I was being a bit shitty for her. Like, ever since she's got back here. Enough with the clever plans. I have three large dragons. I'm going to fly them to the Red Keep. <laughs> Fuck us, this. My enemies are in the Red Keep. What kind of a queen am I if I'm not willing to risk my life to fight them? A smart one. What do you think I should do? Oh! I would never presume... I'm at war. To... I'm losing. What do you think I should do? Come on, John. I never thought that dragons would exist again. No one did. The people who follow you know that you made something impossible happen. Come on, Pod Pod. And don't, don't fight someone like her in the first place. <laughs> Fair enough. Very nice dagger. She just looks bad out. <laughs> They haven't contributed the right amount of grace. You can't use that, my lady. It's too small. Mm. I won't hurt you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> oh. Oh, I should have a tear in my eye. It's beautiful. Fair play. <laughs> I love it. Who taught you how to do that? No one. What an answer. Oh, that was beautiful. That was one of the best scenes of the season so far. I know you love the dagger, just to see your little fingers face all right in the eye. Mmm. Collapse is dead. I'll put your smoke away. So, Chris, you know he's going to do something like this. We've got like, what, nine episodes left after this altogether. He's going to do something. Ah, uh, feelings have turned. What's Theon and John are going to be now as well? See, yeah, they would have known each other from because Theon needs to chill with them. Then. Oh shit! He's not going to be happy with them. Yeah. Oh. It's not going to get a punch. Answer. I see all right. Mm. What you did for her is the only reason I'm not killing you. I feel bad for the honor. We heard your uncle attacked your fleet. We thought. What? Listen. Oh shit. Oh my god. Spears and shields! Get in line! Spears and shields! Spears and shields! Oh shit! Give it to me, HBO, give it to me, good. Oh, is this from the, uh. Wait, is that me? I mean, there'll be a dragon ball. I think this is where the Dothraki running down the trailer. God. 
You don't even know what you did. You don't even know. Fuck. Get a commander, not a damn infantry man. Those fuckers are about Oh, someone just shit to himself. We can hold them. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> I've seen all alive. is melting to crisp. <laughs> nah, you don't, that's it, you're out. You don't. There we are. Shots are going to make me orgasm. No, not the dragon. Fuck. Like, I don't want Jamie to die, this is... I oh, fair play, kid. Oh! Is Bron gonna die? No. Just like Battle of the Bastards. It's kind of the same actually, just following one shot from it there. Oh fuck. Oh! Oh, there's one way to. They're gonna kill the dragon, aren't they? Don't kill it. He's gonna see Jamie as well. Oh, oh fucking. Take cover. Nope, too late. <laughs> Please Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. That's drone on as well, it's like the main one. Jamie, what are you do? This is it, Jamie or the dragon, I guess. You idiot. 
Who's a f Oh my god. Who saves your life? Don't end there. That episode felt really short compared to the rest, which is annoying because it was like the best episode of the season. One of the best of the entire show. Like straight up, that might be like one of my favourite episodes. That's up there with Battle of the Bastards, Winter Winter, um, Blackwater. Better, there's better than Blackwater. Just... Uh, like even before the actual battle, like the, just the thing like with Arya and Brienne, that scene was perfect that scene was spectacular so even the build up to it john with theon there like i felt kind of i feel bad for theon it's like but i don't think those two would meet anytime soon but there we go uh fucking just insane I'm trying to think of there's a scene or a, st a story in this episode that didn't entertain me like people like cersei talking with the iron banks i just don't like it's just politics stuff i, I don't mind politics in game of thrones it's just like her, it was just her going on about the iron bank, like, oh, money. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, your money's gone now, mate, so pipe like down. Uh, but even that, I didn't, I wasn't bored by the, that scene. It's just like, oh my god, just that entire that entire battle sequence sequence was incredible. Like, uh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Just like the bit where the Dothraki were coming down, like I kind of clicked on like the uh, Drogon was going to be there because I remember from the trailer, like, <coughs> sorry, Drogon swooping above the, above them. Um, so I wasn't too sure like when they were roaring down, I was like, oh maybe maybe I was wrong. But then when you had that that Drogon, that iconic Drogon roar, which comes in through the clouds, Khaleesi riding him as well, was beautiful, just incredible. And then the, all the gore, the violence, the action in this uh, the final third there was outstanding. I don't. If that's episode four, like what have they got for five, six, and seven? Fuck. Jamie would. Jamie was that close. Jamie was that close. None of the Nolan, like main characters died in that scene, but Jamie was very, very close. And I thought Droga might like might have actually died there for a second, um, and Bronn surprisingly survived as well. I feel like one of them might die. Uh, Khaleesi will be fine, obviously, but like, and Tyrion will be fine. But one of them might end up dying in like next episode because the battle's not over yet. It's kind of like, well, I guess it is like the Lannisters have lost. There's no doubt about that. But like Jamie, I don't know what's come to him. Will Khaleesi take him prisoner? He's just kind of sinking to the bottom there. I don't think that's going to be his death of him just sinking to the bottom. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in episode five now. I'm glad Khaleesi went through with that. Went with that. That was great. I'm glad she did that. The dragon. Like you should be you should be flying towards the the one thing that's gonna harm your dragon. Like I would have like swarmed and then like darted right or something. I know it's a bit slow of a dragon, but you don't just go head first at it. Like she knew it could hurt him. Uh but yeah, uh, uh about a ten out of ten for the episode, obviously. It was like, one of the best Game of Thrones episodes I've ever seen. Um Yeah. Let me guys know what you thought about it. It's in my top five, probably my top three. I have to really think about the episode, but Battle of the Bastards and Winter Winter are my two, and uh, Reigns of Casimir, of course, uh, are three of my all time favourites. And that was sort of like the spoils of war. That's going to make it into my top five, definitely. I'm trying to think of it like. I don't know if it's my favourite episode of Game of Thrones of all time. Mm. I have to really think about that. That's a big, that's a big commitment to commit to. Uh, so I'd have to really think about that. But no, amazing episode. Let me know what you thought of it down below. And I'll be back next week for episode five. Very, very happy with the episode. And until next week, thanks for watching. Peace.